Once upon a time in the quiet town of Maplewood, a woman named Sarah found love again after the untimely death of her first husband. Her new love was John, a kind and charming man, who seemed to be a perfect match for her. John was ready to embrace his role as a stepfather to Sarah's daughter, Emily, and create a happy family together. In the beginning, life was blissful for Sarah, John, and Emily. They shared laughter and dreams, and John made a genuine effort to be a father figure to Emily. But as time passed, subtle changes started to occur. John's attention towards Emily began to seem unsettling, with lingering glances and unnecessary physical contact. At first, Sarah dismissed her concerns as mere paranoia, wanting desperately to believe that her newfound happiness was not tainted. However, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. One fateful evening, Sarah arrived home unexpectedly and found John alone with Emily in a compromising situation. Her heart shattered into a million pieces as the reality of her worst fears unfolded before her eyes. John had crossed a line he could never return from, and Sarah knew she had to protect her daughter at all costs. Gathering her strength, Sarah confronted John about what she had witnessed. John, initially denying any wrongdoing, soon crumbled under the weight of the evidence and admitted his reprehensible actions. Filled with remorse and shame, he confessed to his vile advances, pleading for forgiveness. Sarah, torn between love and duty, chose to protect her daughter. She demanded that John leaves their home immediately and never return. Broken and filled with self-loathing, John obeyed, knowing he had destroyed the trust of those he had pledged to love and protect. Sarah knew that she needed to take legal action to ensure Emily's safety and to ensure that John faced the consequences of his actions. She reported the incident to the authorities, and the legal system began its investigation into the disturbing allegations. While the legal battle ensued, Sarah focused on helping Emily heal from the traumatic experience. They sought professional counseling and support groups to navigate through the emotional turmoil that had been thrust upon them. Slowly but steadily, they rebuilt their lives, finding strength in each other. As the evidence against John mounted, the case went to trial. It was a harrowing experience for Sarah and Emily, as they had to relive the painful memories. However, they were determined to see justice served, not just for themselves but to protect others from suffering the same fate. During the trial, John's remorse was evident. He expressed sincere regret for his actions and agreed to seek therapy and counseling to address the underlying issues that led him down this dark path. After a thorough legal process, the verdict was delivered. John was found guilty and sentenced to a significant prison term. Life in Maplewood began to return to a semblance of normalcy for Sarah and Emily. The support they received from the community was overwhelming, reaffirming their faith in humanity. Friends and neighbors rallied around them, offering help in any way they could. Sarah was grateful for the unwavering love and protection she had received from her loved ones. Emily had become bolder and wiser, though still haunted by the memories, she spent more time creating fashion designs and found solace in the world of fashion. Fashion became her therapy, allowing her to express her emotions without words. Sarah, who had always encouraged Emily's creativity, took pride in her daughter's resilience. Both Sarah and Emily sought professional counseling to help them heal from the trauma they endured. Therapy became their sanctuary, a safe space to share their pain and fears, and work through their emotions. In group therapy sessions, they met others who had experienced similar challenges and found strength in their shared stories. Sarah and Emily's journey towards healing also became an inspiration to others who were struggling to find their voices and seek justice. The bond between Sarah and Emily grew stronger every day. They developed an unbreakable trust and open communication that allowed them to share their deepest fears and insecurities. Sarah's unconditional love and unwavering support became a foundation for Emily's healing process. Sarah, too, learned to trust again, slowly opening her heart to the possibility of new love. 
She understood that not everyone was like John and that true love would never betray or hurt her. Although cautious, she remained hopeful that she could find a partner who would cherish and protect both her and Emily. Emily's fashion designs became a powerful medium for her activism. She created evocative pieces that depicted the pain and resilience of abuse survivors, leaving a profound impact on anyone who viewed her art. Behind bars, John faced the consequences of his actions. The rehabilitation program he attended aimed to address the underlying issues that led him to commit such heinous acts. He underwent intensive therapy to understand and confront his past traumas and learn healthier ways to cope with emotions. While there were no excuses for his actions, John's transformation was sincere, and he expressed genuine remorse. He participated in programs designed to help offenders develop empathy and remorse, as he vowed to make amends for the pain he had caused. The road to healing was long and arduous, but Sarah and Emily were determined to continue their journey together. With the support of friends, therapy, and community involvement, they found moments of joy amid the darkness. They made new memories, celebrating birthdays, holidays, and achievements as a testament to their resilience. Years passed, and Sarah finally found the courage to open her heart again. She met James, a compassionate and understanding man who admired Sarah's strength and Emily's creativity. He took the time to build a friendship with both of them, never pushing for more than they were comfortable with. Emily, now a young woman, was wary of anyone entering their lives, but James proved to be patient and sincere. He won her trust by respecting her boundaries and supporting her artistic endeavors. Slowly, Emily embraced James as part of their family, realizing that not all stepfathers were like her past. After much consideration and with the guidance of their therapist, Sarah and Emily agreed to meet John in a controlled setting. John was a changed man. His eyes showed deep remorse, and his words were sincere as he apologized for the pain he had caused them. While Sarah could never fully forgive him, she acknowledged that he was taking responsibility for his actions and seeking redemption. Emily, hesitant at first, found the strength to express her feelings to John. She told him about the nightmares and anxiety she had endured, the impact on her relationships, and her struggle to trust others. John listened, tears streaming down his face, acknowledging the immense damage he had caused. Meeting John face to face brought some closure to their painful past, but it also reinforced the importance of their healing journey. Sarah and Emily knew that the scars from their ordeal would never completely fade, but they were committed to moving forward together. John remained incarcerated, but he continued his rehabilitation journey with determination. His goal was not just to earn forgiveness but to become a better person who would never repeat his past mistakes. Years after the trial, the wounds of the past were no longer open sores, but scars that served as a reminder of their strength and resilience. Sarah, Emily, and James formed a united front, creating a loving and supportive environment for each other. Sarah's passion for community activism remained strong, and she channeled her energy into supporting organizations dedicated to helping abuse survivors. Emily's fashion designs continued to inspire others, giving voice to the voiceless and hope to those who had experienced similar traumas. In time, they found a renewed sense of happiness and purpose. Though their lives had been shattered once, they had pieced them back together, stronger than ever before. Sarah and Emily's story became a beacon of hope for those who faced darkness, proving that healing and redemption were possible, even in the face of unimaginable pain.